You know, many people try to avoid civil wars in Hearts of Iron 4, but what if I told you many nations, United States and Canada are a couple, should not try to avoid them, but instead embrace them and have them as soon as possible. What's up guys, today we're talking about why it's better for many nations to have civil wars and change the government as soon as possible. Now before we get into the video, people need to understand, yes civil wars are overpowered if done correctly, but if you want to swap back, you can't. If you use a demagogue to start the civil war, what you have to do is you really have to have another nation boost you the other way to kind of make you have another civil war to swap back. I don't really know why you would want to do that, but that is a possibility, but again, one way to do this, I would recommend if you are going to swap back in the future, have a nation that's uh, the ideology you want to swap. So if you're a democracy and you want to go communist to have the civil war, have Russia or some other player like that. If you're a multiplayer, start boosting you. If you're a single player, you're kind of stuck doing demagogues or cheats like I had to do. But now with that being said, let me also thank my one and only Patreon YouTube hero. And with that being said, let's get on to the video. There are five major reasons you would want to have a civil war, especially as the United States and Canada and many other uh, democratic nations I want to say have this. Yes, many democratic nations that have the Great Depression. Not a lot of people realize once you have the civil war, it actually will get rid of all your national spirits because you're a brand new nation. So say for example, another reason we would want to do this, we were at war with Brazil, they've got way more planes than us, they're starting to strap bomb us or something along those lines. Another really cool thing to do also is if we ignite a civil war, we are no longer at war with that nation. We have very bad opinions of them, usually because we're just different ideologies, or in this case, uh, it's actually not saying why we hate each other so much, but yeah, you can get the idea. I think it's probably because we declared war on them, but that's one major reason. The second is it gets rid of all those... Uh, different crazy national spirits so the United States still stuck with it which is now renamed to John Tyler which I find hilarious that's a couple big reasons the third one is if you want to have a civil war you can get a lot of army XP see I deleted everything except for one division so the United States wouldn't have one division and I would be the only one with it so that's a cool strat to do if you just want to rush towards the capital and just get the civil war over with you don't care about army XP that's a cool strategy to do. Now, another really cool thing you can do with this is right off the bat, you can increase your economy law to partial mob. So in this example here, if we were late game United States or late 1936 US and we had a civil war, we would have no national uh, focuses. We would have no national spirits. I want to say I apologize. No national spirits and we would have partial mob. So the depression would be gone and we're going on partial mobilization, which is an absolutely insane number when you really look here. Compared to the like one to two factories we have, we've pretty much doubled that right off the bat. And I believe over time, once the Civil War is over and we have all the factories in the United States back instead of these 73, we pretty much, as you can tell, we would pretty much have the world just outmatched right off the bat and you could continuously keep up with any nation. Guys, that is pretty much the video, but once again, I will go over it really quickly. One, well, the five reasons you want to have a Civil War is one, you can cheese out of army XP big time. You can invite other nations to join you with that and they can send you volunteers. Two, you can increase your mobilization to something insane. Three, you can go ahead and get rid of your bad national spirits. Four, you can get out of a war with a nation you've declared war on. This works great for Germany if you're getting invaded by the allies and you know that something like the ship is sinking and you want to keep playing if you're playing as the US or whatever, or the uh, a multiplayer game or whatever. You can have a civil war sparked as Germany, and you can keep playing, and it, be careful with that, though. If you're not with friends, they will probably ban you for having that, because you immediately go to peace with them, and sometime you will keep land in France. It's crazy. It's weird. And I don't know why I counted it, but the fifth the fifth one was uh, be able to get one division, so you could just kind of storm straight to their capital. So if you're something like Spain, if you do that, delete everything except for that one division, you could pretty much just walk right into their capital. It's crazy. It's absolutely nuts. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Remember, if you enjoy these kind of videos, please don't forget to subscribe. I upload Hearts of Iron 4 content almost every day, and I do my best to make sure my channel is one of the ones that focus more on quality instead of quantity. Guys, thank you again for watching. I will see you guys next time. Stay awesome.